even Eli has to stop and look at the Vivor weather station. So we've got the Vivor weather station installed. Now it just so happens I had this nice 4x4 post out in the yard. Uh, the dog run is hooked up to it. Um, mounted very easy. The bolts that are on the underside of this, uh, those help level it. Now there is a level on here. You want to make sure that you get that set. And then also with the um, water sensor here, there is an N marked on there that you want to make sure that you have set to north. That is going to help this unit with the wind direction sensor be able to tell you from the screen which direction the wind is going. So very important that you take your time and get this, you know, installed in a, you know, proper fashion, leveled facing north. Now, I've had this up for a couple days. Um, we have that very cold system that came through. So, you know, for me as a beekeeper to be able to look at a screen and know the temperatures, know the weather that's out there is very key. Um, earlier today, you know, I'd push a couple buttons and I'll show you that in a second. I knew it was minus seven wind chill. That's why I have this on. Um, it's almost like I'm dressed for the Arctic, but uh, very easy to install. You know, it comes with everything here. This mount comes with the post. Everything here that you see, there's no additional parts needed. Everything comes in the package. So let's get inside out of this cold. Curious how cold it is right now. It's not quite as bad. Now, another handy use that uh, Vivor Weather Station has really helped out as far as maintaining these quail as well, just because I know the temps. All right, so we are inside. Now, this unit, um, I've already had it set up, but to set it up, everything is in the instructions. Um, you basically have to uh, hold down the one button on here, and I believe it's the barometer, um, until you see a certain uh, two letters. And then you connect your phone to it, um, and you, you sync the Wi-Fi. It, it, honest, it was as easy as it could be. Um, now, once this unit was set up and going, you'll see that, you know, it has for, you can set an alarm on here, you have temperatures where I'm hitting it, like right now, um, let's see, it is 16.5 uh, Fahrenheit, 54% humidity. If I hit that temp button again, it gives me a feels like, then it gives me a heat index, and it gives me a wind chill, 8.2. Um, that's very, very handy there. Also, dew point gives me light on here with a forecast. Wind direction, I was talking about that, how important that is there to get that set. You know, if I hit wind, it will even tell me what my gusts are. Um, tells you the direction, um, tells you the time. Once everything is synced and you set up the time zone, tells me here month date, you know, the time, moon phase. Shows me in here also that I am synced with the Wi-Fi, so that's very key there. Now we have indoor sensors, so 69.6, 29% humidity, that's kind of low. We probably should get a, a humidifier going. But tells me here on the rain also, like if I hit it, you know, total we've had 0.53 inches of rain. Um, there's an event sensor there, tells me a rate. You know, I, I found that, you know, if I left this to weekly, that was, that was okay for me. Then we've got the barometer with absolute and then relative. Um, now you can also set mins and maxes. So, you know, here with a min, uh, well, this is a max right here, 16.8 degrees is a max. So you can look at your mins and maxes to see where those are. Minimum was, uh, you know, 2.3 as far as temperature there. So excellent there. You can set up sensors on this also, like if there's a high temperature, low temperature, things like that. So, you know, for the beekeepers out there, you're really looking at um, a weather station that's just going to give you certain alerts. You know, this unit here overall, um, I, I'm, I'm, I would say thumbs up for this so far. I mean, it was easy to set up, 
everything's in the box. I didn't have to go buy any parts. Nothing broke on installation. So really handy. Um, as far as the screen also, there's different, you know, uh, display brightness. You know, I can turn that down. Um, I tend to leave that on the brightest setting there just because in this room here, you know, there's a lot of sunshine that comes in here. But, um, you know, overall I really like it. You know, shows us the temperatures, the rain, the wind, the barometer, gives us alerts, everything like that. So, you know, if I'm going into the set with the alarm, I, I just, I, I find this um, uh, exceptional weather station. So, um, really like it. Uh, Got to give a thumbs up on it. Now, I will say this. In the description, I will put links as far as there's a discount, you know, an affiliate code and things like that there. So, you know, anytime that, you know, when we do this as content creators, anytime that we can save viewers some money, we like to do that. And, and I always like to do that. I just always push that if I'm going to review a product, I give my honest opinion. Um, this unit here, honest opinion, I'd say it, it's a great unit. So... Um, but Vivor did an excellent job on this. So when they say tough tools half price, this right here for, you know, what I've seen so far, it's definitely a tough weather station and the price is, is about right. So, um, but I'll put links in that down in there. That way you all can save some money if you're interested in buying this unit. Um, pretty, uh, pretty slick unit though, I must say. So, um definitely check it out. But uh, appreciate you all watching the video, and until the next one. Whew. Eli, it's cold out here, buddy. Whew. Lucky we got that weather station up there to let us know exactly how cold it is.